Legendary moonshiner Jim Tom is getting along just fine without his former partners. This year, Jeff and Mark is going big style, stainless steel. And I just don't want to do it. I'm going by myself. With over 60 years of moonshining experience, Jim Tom has no shortage of customers for his traditional copper pot stills. Hey, how you doing? But a moonshiner can never be too careful when dealing with strangers. Even a friendly face can belong to an undercover cop. I was looking for a fellow named Jim Tom. Who told you there's a fellow over here that name? Well, you know, old Sammy over here, I went to high school with him. Sam? Yeah. Oh, one that drove the potato chip truck. Yeah. What are you doing over in here? Well, what I want is uh, I'm losing my job, mm -hmm. and my boy's in college, mm -hmm. and I need to make some money. And I hear, you know, I, you can make some good money with moonshine, and I just, I need somebody to build me a steel. Well, being as you know Sam, yeah. Sam's a good one. Come on up. Don't stand out there. I was aiming your bicycle a while ago, but I had to make sure and look at you and see if you <laughs> looked OK. You looked like a pretty good fella. Well, how much you reckon that would cost me to get a steel made? Well, let's see. Now, that would be about $750 right. at the least, because I may want to jar your liquor sometime to see how it tastes, <laughs> see? Would you help me with my first run a little bit? You're not stupid, are you? I don't try to be. Absolutely, I will. How long take you to build it? Two weeks. Two weeks. What do you think about me building that? You think that'd be a good idea? Yes, sir. I got a little saying for you. OK. Jesus turned water into wine. Right. His hillbillies turned water into shine. Yeah. The hillbillies can't quit making it. My, our heritage would go to nothing. It, if you couldn't get a hold of a drink of liquor or a moonshot, well, this country would be ruined. 